hello what's up you photographer running straight and I try and this simple tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end so simply stick around and don't forget to hit the like button on this video and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can see this is a raw image and in order to import the raw file into Photoshop simply I'm just going to cancel that so in order to import a raw image in Photoshop, right click on the image that you want to edit and simply come to open with. Then come to open with Photoshop. So I'm using Photoshop 2025 <clears throat> and it's going to automatically open up the camera raw filter. So with the camera raw filter open, we have to first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image. So you can see the highlights are a little bit clipping. So we're going to take the highlights down and take the whites down and simply come and add contrast into the image then you're going to take the blacks down and open up the shadows slightly and we are going to slightly warm up this very image around 5600 kelvins i think that is okay then after doing that we are simply going to come down to our hue saturation or color mixer option and we're going to come and play around with the hues of the greens because we want to change them. So I'm just going to come and change the hues of the greens towards the aquas. Just like that. And I'm also going to change the hues of the yellows. Just slightly to make the model stand out of the background. And I'll just come and take the saturation down because saturation is the intensity of a given color. So when you feel like you want to change the hues more, you can play around with the sliders even more. So I just take this up slightly. Then I'm going to come to the luminous and simply darken the oranges to get more contrast within the skin tone. So I think that is okay. And this is the before after. And when you feel like the image is overexposed, remember to come to the exposure right here and take down the exposure to your liking. So I'm just going to leave it around negative 10. And after doing that, just come and click open in order to open the image in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, we are going to be learning how to do skin retouching using frequency separation. So the very first thing we tend to do when it comes to Photoshop is simply getting the crop tool and setting the crop to 8 by 10 and simply click into the image and drag up just like that. And after doing that, simply hit enter or return to crop the image. So after cropping the image, the next thing is going to be simply doing the skin retouching or working on this on the skin so in order to do skin retouching we have to use frequency separation and remember frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the colors and the textures so just come this background layer and press ctrl j or you can use command j press it twice and double click to rename this to low and name the applier to high so the high frequency layer is for textures and the low frequency layer is for colors so select the low frequency layer and turn off the high frequency layer then simply come to filter then come to blur right here and come to gaussian blur so when you come to gaussian blur take the radius all the way down and click onto the skin so for this step we just want to blur away the textures in the skin so you have to stop at the point whereby the textures are starting to be lost out from the skin so left click and drag up up to a point when you feel like the textures are just starting to disappear from the image so at around four that is when i'm just starting to close out on the textures so depending on the image or how close or how far the image is the textures may be different so just come and click ok then after doing that come to the high frequency layer and now activate it then simply come to image and come to apply image then we are using a 16-bit image so for the layer select the low frequency layer then the channel has to be RGB and for 16-bit image the blending has to be add the scale is 2 and offset 0 and simply turn on the invert option right here and you'll see the textures on this gray layer so if at all you're dealing with an 8-bit image you have to uncheck the invert option and use the blend mode of subtract the scale has to be 2 and offset 128 and you'll have the same result so mine is a 16-bit image so I'll just put it back to 16-bit settings and after doing that, the next thing is going to be coming to this layer right here and simply change it from normal to linear light. So select both layers and press Ctrl G or you can use Command G on the keyboard and open up the group. 
hide the high frequency line select the low frequency layer then come under the brushes right click and get the mixer brush tool and if at all your mixer brush tool is not displaying under the brushes you can locate it down here so after doing that come and set the mixer brush tool make sure the clean brush option is selected and the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected this one with the crossed brush with a weight of 9% load 75 mix 90 flat 100% Make sure sample all layers is not turned on and after doing that we just want to blend the skin tones so increase or zoom in by using ctrl plus on the keyboard so just zoom in slightly and start blending the skin tone so to blend we left click and hold down and we mix the skin tones just like that so we mix colors that are looking alike using a small brush and if at all the mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon simply Press the caps lock key on the keyboard to activate it to its default circular formation. So I'm just going to paint onto a skin just like that. Reduce on the size and paint on the skin. So we are simply trying to blend or create even skin tone transitions. So just come to the neck and blend the dark areas alone. Then blend the highlight alone just like that and mix it. So to mix we are simply left clicking and holding down and mixing a given color so that it can blend well or better so increase on the size blend the highlight alone reduce on the size and blend these other colors and where the colors are transitioning from one color to another reduce on the size and also blend that boundary or that bordering area so but by the way don't forget to like this video because when you like the video it helps youtube and push and recommend this channel and this video to many people interested in learning how to edit photos when it comes to photoshop so just hold down the space bar key to drag to a new area so just blend the colors just like that and when you're done working on the skin you can now come and turn on the texture layer or the textures zoom out and look at the image so this is the image before after before after so if at all there are any blemishes you can select the high frequency layer and now get get the clone stamp tool zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard to zoom in and look for the blemish so to remove this blemish for example hold down the option key on the keyboard make sure after selecting the clone stamp tool the mode is normal past and the flat 100 percent make sure align the selected and sample is set to current layer so to remove a blemish Hold down the option key on the keyboard or the alternate key on the keyboard and left click near the blemish that you want to remove and simply release the option key on the keyboard and left click over the blemish to replace it with clean skin. So that is how you can easily remove the pimples or skin imperfections from your images using the clone stamp tool. So this model has a nice skin so we don't have so much work to do so after doing that close the frequency separation group and the next thing is going to be working on the skin tone so just come to the adjustments here and simply select the gradient map adjustment layer and after doing that just come and select the gradient icon and hide the gradient layer and after hiding it left click on the properties option on this color so left click on it and left click once again on where you see this left hand pointer make sure the location is set to zero and left click on the color option choose a darkest point on the model skin so i'm just going to choose this as the darkest point of the model skin so you can choose that as the darkest point click ok then click on the brightest point location 100 make sure by that the sample is set to all layers and the sample size is 5 by 5 average so click on the brightest point of the skin so i'm just going to choose that as the brightest point click ok then you're going to click in the middle and type the location 50 so it is in the middle left click on the color option and choose what you feel should represent the mid-tones and click ok so after doing that activate this layer once again then come and change the blend mode from normal to color and select this white layer mask and press ctrl i on the keyboard or you can use command i then just simply come to the brushes and get the brush tool and after getting the brush tool the next thing is going to be coming 
and make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush has been selected. Then make sure the opacity and the flow is 100% and also make sure that you have black and white on these two color swatches. So if, if at all you have any other random color, you can simply press D on the keyboard or you can left click on these tiny boxes to reset to black and white. And after doing that with white as the front color, you can switch between black and red by using this arrow. So with white as the front color or the color on top, simply zoom in and increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket key on the keyboard and paint on the skin. So we are painting using a white brush on the skin. So you can see by doing this it is now creating a uniform skin color but don't mind if at all it is a little bit too much because we are going to correct that soon enough so just paint on the skin and make sure each and every area that our skin has been painted on this very layer so left click and also come to this all these areas and paint just like that so you have to ensure that each area that, that has skin has been painted with this color so just come and paint just like that so if at all you accidentally paint out of the skin area that you meant to paint in the next thing is going to be erasing or correcting those those areas so i'm just going to come to this other area and also paint in that area just like that paint and paint so also paint in those tiny areas so to correct an area that you do not want paint you can switch the brush back to black so black is going to erase away or erase the color that we do not want paint in particular area so i'm just going to come and paint just like that then erase the color from the model's outfit just like that and also come and erase it from down here so this step is what we call creating uniform skin tones or uniform skin color for our model so after doing that we are also going to be color grading the image even more to have a better and more attractive result so this is what we have been able to achieve command minus to zoom out so after doing that, the next thing is going to be perfecting this. So just come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking. If at all, the effect is too much for your liking. So I'm just going to leave it around, I think, 40, 45 looks great. And after doing that, the next thing is going to be more color grading. So we're going to come and create a stamp visible layer for this so in order to create a stamp visible layer simply hold, hold down shift option command e then from for windows to shift shift alternate control e on the keyboard create a stamp visible layer and we're going to come back to filter and come to the camera filter so with the camera filter selected we're just going to come back to our hsl panel and simply play around with the, these colors right here so i'm just going to come to the luminous and darken the oranges even more to have a more richer skin tone i think that is okay and you can also well come and play around with the highlights of the image and also the whites to your liking so you're just going to come and add some tiny bit of contrast don't mind if at all the skin tones are moving closer to oranges so to correct that simply come to the adjustments and come to here and saturation Come to the master and simply select the red so click on master and select reds come to where you see lightness and simply take down the lightness just like that and i think this is okay negative 14 is okay yeah that is fine and we are going to add more contrast to the skin by coming to create a black and white adjustment layer change the blend mode from normal to multiply and simply come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking. I think we are going to go with around ne negative 8 is okay. Then we are going to come and create one more adjustment layer which is the selective color adjustment layer. Come and select the blacks and simply play around with the cyan just like that. 
around six is okay then you're going to increase on the blacks a little bit and also cool down just like that to slightly cool down the skin tones because they were falling all over the place so this is what we have been able to achieve for this very image so one last step you can even intensify this effect especially in the black area so one final step for this is simply whitening the eyes and teeth of the model so not whiten the eyes and teeth simply come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come the saturation and take the saturation down to around negative 77 press ctrl i on the keyboard and with the brush tool selected make sure white is the foreground color and zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use command plus on the keyboard and after doing that just paint over the eyes and the teeth to create that kind of eye whitening onto the eyes and teeth so just be careful and if at all you make a mistake you know what to do switch the brush back to black and it's going to hide or erase the effect from the areas you did not want paint in the first place so this is what we have been able to achieve for this kind of image so when you feel like the effect is too much always come to especially on the skin tone you can always come to the reds right here under hue and saturation and come to the reds and simply either desaturate the reds a little bit more and also take down the lightness to have a better and natural looking image so this is the image this is what i have been able to do in photoshop and this is the image before after before after so this is how you can easily edit an image in photoshop finally how to save the image simply come right here to file and come to export and come to export as so when you come to export as it's going to open up the export as window and with this simply select the file format to jpeg and make sure the quality is to the maximum that is the highest quality so drag this to the highest quality and make sure the resample is set by cubic sharper so click on this drop down arrow and select by cubic sharper and also make sure these two options have been checked embed color profile and convert to srgb and after doing that simply hit export in order to save your image so this is how you can easily edit a photo in photoshop with no steps skipped and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating